ever experienced that your clients are hiring you for short term orders they are gonna give you a project just for a couple of months but you want to work with them for a long term basis and in that exact moment your designer ego kicks in well in this video we are going to talk about how to transform your short term clients to your long term clients so without further delay let's get started Before starting this video, if you guys are new here, my name is Shambhi Dudas and I am a professional graphic designer, video editor and UI UX designer. In this channel, we talk about designing tips, tricks and tutorials. So if you are into it, then consider subscribing to my channel. Also, I have given timestamps in the video description, so feel free to hop around the entire timeline. Tip number 1. Provide services as bundles. Well, this is a tip that I talked about in my previous videos as well. Never provide your services as a single creative. Always provide your services as a bundle. Suppose if you are a graphic designer, never provide only one poster to your client. Make a bundle of 10 to 20 posters and then sell it to the public. Or in other cases, if you are a UI UX designer, then obviously don't sell only one UI of a website. If you're gonna take up a client, then make the UI of their website, their mobile app, their recruitment portal, their webinar portal, etc. If the client doesn't agree with the bundle wise payment, then you can simply reject the client. Tip number two, make versatile packages. Whenever you're making bundles, try to include all of your services in those bundles. For example, if you are a new designer, make an entry level bundle where you can add 10 graphics, two motion graphics, and one product animation video. In the most expensive bundle, you can add 20 graphics, five motion graphics and three animation videos. Purely hypothetical, but I think you got the idea. Also, when you are pricing these bundles, then try to price them in such a way that the client is attracted towards the more expensive bundles. Also, if you guys want a video regarding pricing your designs, then let me know that by making this video reach 25 likes. Tip number three, include freelancers from other domains. Whenever you are working with a client for their ad campaign, then try to take up the whole responsibility on yourself. For example, if your client is gonna hire a model, then you can take your step forward and say your client that you know some of the well-known models in your arena and you can ask them for the gig and they can do it for a cheaper price. Similarly, if your client is gonna hire a photographer for their photography needs, then you can take your step forward and you can ask them that you know some of the very well-known photographers in your circle and you can include them in the gig for a very cheaper price. By doing so, you are making an impression on your client that your design is professional enough so many other artists are actually relying on you for their livelihood and also you are a very popular designer. And also your client will be thinking that they will be saving up a lot of money if they are actually taking the whole package from you. Tip number four, charge annually. You know that many product companies are switching to services. For example, Apple started Apple TV Plus. Google started their own service named as Google One. You can also do that in your graphic design career. You can also charge annually from your clients instead of charging them gigwise. Also, you can do the trick as Hostinger does. They provide the first year of their domain to the client at a very cheap price. For example, they give a discount of like 90 to 95 percent. You can also do that same trick by giving your client or offering your client your services at a very cheap price for the first year of your service. And then in the consecutive year, you can actually charge up enough money and you can make your profit. Tip number five, use referral codes. Always try to reward your clients with referral codes. For example, if you get a new client from one of your existing clients, then Try to reward your older clients with a heavy discount in their next order using a referral code. You can actually apply this feature on your website on your checkout page. Tip number six, include surprise gifts. Try to include surprise gifts for your customers. For example, how Peter McKinnon provides a certificate of authenticity with all of the latest prints that he recently announced. Or for example, how Razer gives you a rainbow sticker if you buy any of their products. Try to add that X factor to your service so that all of your clients feel a little special after ordering from you. Remember how Starbucks write the name of their consumers in their coffee cup and in return the customers actually upload that photo in their social media? Try to add something like that. It also creates a kind of a free publicity for Starbucks as well. So guys, there you have it. This is how you can actually transform your short term clients to your long term clients. 
So that's it for this week's video guys. Hope you have enjoyed this video. Make sure to subscribe and turn on the bell icon so that you get notified whenever I upload a new video. Also if you have any other suggestions then let me know in the comment section below. And also till then stay creative and I hope to see you in my next video.